I'm cold and then I'm hot and then I'm cold. Let's see if anybody even comes on. Oh my goodness. This is my first live stream on this channel in a while. Oh boy. Tough stuff. I should have posted this somewhere so people knew I was live. Shoot. Oh, man. Ah! Jer! Serenity! Oh, my God. Thank you. Yes. Gabriel. Kevin. Michael. Yay! Oh, my God. I wasn't sure if anybody would see that I'm actually live. I survived the hurricane. It was crazy. This whole week's been insane. I still don't have power or internet. And um, struggling to find some Xfinity hot spots, but they don't seem to be working. Hi, Phil, Raphael, Gabriel, Sukdev. Oh, it's good to see you guys. I exist online, so it's very difficult for me to not have access to the internet like I, you know, want to. So, yeah, it's been frustrating for me that. Peter, hey, how are you? I'm so glad you guys are here. Ah, hi, Ryan. I've just been sitting in my car for like a long time today because, yeah, there's no power or service at my house. So, hi, Ray. How are you? It's good to see you. It's good to see you too, Ryan, and everybody here. I actually, can you hear me okay? I feel like I'm yelling and I feel like the air conditioning's loud. Let me know. Uh, yeah, I just definitely wanted to connect with you guys because I feel like I've been a little out of the loop. I am happy to be alive. I'm happy to be alive and safe and everything. I mean, yeah, it just was crazy. The beginning of the week, just trying to check on where the hurricane was going to go. It was a little more difficult for me because I don't have local news stations. Like, I don't have cable TV. And then finally made the decision to go to the hurricane shelter, which I think was a good idea. Luckily, the area that I'm in didn't have the storm surge, which is like the tsunami that Fort Myers Beach got. And it completely wiped it away. Um, that could have been my area, but just lucky it wasn't. And my house isn't damaged. The only thing is just this lack of power. So I cannot complain. I really can't complain at all. So, yeah, I'm just really happy really happy about all that I do need to do laundry though so I'm gonna have to go to a laundromat tomorrow I suppose I don't know when if I've ever even been to one of those but that should be fun too honestly yeah I so I spent like three days in a hur hurricane shelter which was in an elementary school and a lot of the volunteers were like teachers and there was a lunch lady there and they gave us snacks and like the people that we shared like a room with which was a classroom were all like super sweet and nice i honestly had such a good time at the hurricane shelter it was really fun and i did i didn't even want to go home but everybody there we all thought that we were going to leave and our like homes would be destroyed but i think it was all not as bad as we thought thank god and uh yeah prayers to everybody that got it really bad that was crazy i definitely would suggest going to uh a hurricane shelter if this happens to you because I can't even imagine like staying in your house whatever anyway <laughs> yeah I have a vlog of all that I just have to edit that I have like two months of footage that um, I haven't edited yet so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it I'm sorry the chat okay here we go Peter said lots of beach multiple floor structures in Naples are stuck in their apartments and rescue can't get to them yet that yeah that is so scary I saw some girl post like, oh, I haven't heard from my grandma since Wednesday at 8 p.m. Um, does anybody know like about the damage in this area or that area? And that's like so scary. Yeah. We kept getting alerts on our phone that said like storm surge warning, threat to life warning. Uh, so, yeah, I was really scared in the shelter at one point when the power went out there and they made us stay in each classroom that we were assigned to and the, they were making announcements over the loudspeaker and the last annou announcement was like winds are you know getting to over uh, 100 miles an hour uh 
hunker down stay you are now in lockdown and we will see you on the other side <laughs> and one of the roommates room i'm calling them roommates but people that were assigned to the same classroom at the shelter as me was like the other side I'm like what do you mean the other side other side of the hurricane or the other side of like life <laughs> and i was like oh my god oh my god <laughs> yeah it was crazy i couldn't believe that yeah Jerry, yeah, so this hurricane went through like tore through almost all of Florida and then bounced back around and up to South Carolina I have not been able to see how they fared in South Carolina I uh, hope they didn't get it as bad. That's insane Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, I don't have so much makeup on right now. Of course. I'm gonna be doing more try on videos on my other channel definitely I just couldn't pull it together this week like yesterday I posted a lot of like TikToks and I posted on Instagram, but it took me forever. And then I pulled a muscle in my neck. So I don't want to be like, it's from being on my phone so much, you know, poor ergonomics or whatever. So what are you guys up to today? Jer, I think you said you were going to church. The chat like comes up and then it disappeared disappears did you say you already went to church chair or you're going now I feel better seeing you guys too my favorite food is probably fettuccine alfredo breadsticks and salad from the restaurant called the Olive Garden yes Peter they served us like it was very like very fun it was fun. It was like nostalgic being at the elementary school and having the lunch ladies serve us um, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Michael, hello. England, wow. Oh, 8, 10 p.m. Oh, it's, uh, it's 3, 10 p.m. here, so it's in the afternoon. Ray, Ray's hanging out doing laundry, watching football. Oh, nice. Hey, Jerry's watching football too. Leather pants, hi. Did some shopping earlier and had lots of laundry to do. Yes, me too. Hi, Oliver, how are you? Would you guys like it if I did more live streams? I do want to. I think I'll do more like maybe when I'm having breakfast and stuff like that once I get the power and internet back. I think that would be fun. Jer, I know you want to. Want me to do more live streams and I appreciate that so much. Yeah, I like the live stream. I feel like I'm more of a live streamer. The vlogs take me like, uh, they take me too long. Like, I love creating the vlogs, but I'm not like good at it. Or maybe I'm too particular about them that it just takes me like way too many hours to edit. It just, it's taking me longer than it should. The vlogs take me longer than it should, but I'm not going to stop. I am still going to do vlogs too. What am I doing this week? Um... I don't know. I still don't have power or internet at my house. I looked into hotels in the area so that I could maybe see, find one with power and internet to get back to work and back to my regular schedule and maybe even do some laundry. But uh, looks like they're booked up or too expensive. So tomorrow, I guess I'm going to have to go to a laundry mat if the power doesn't come back. Um... I'm trying to get my life back on track after this week of hurricane stuff, which um, just completely made me fall off the radar, but also made me realize like what's important, you know, that's just, and that's staying safe, period, period. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh no, Sook Dove, I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I love live streams. Good. I'm glad you guys want more live streams. Just hang out and chit chat, I guess, if I can. I'm not much of a chatter usually. Um, political, football, yeah, no thanks. We the people, hi. Was this your first experience in a hurricane? Um, probably not, but of this magnitude, yeah. I mean, I've been through many blizzards and stuff in Connecticut, snowstorms, but. I've never I mean that was just a lot of snow it wasn't like flooding and winds like that so I wasn't like afraid 
during that time. This one I was. <laughs> Oliver, aw. Thank you for saying I'm so pretty. Um, Ray says, I'm sure working right now with limited access to internet must be really hard for you to work. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to put things in perspective. But it feels to me like, you know, when sometimes I have dreams or nightmares where you want to scream and you can't scream or you want to run and you won't run. That's how I feel when I'm just trying to post like a 10 second TikTok and it's just not going through. It's not going through. It's not going through. And that's why I think I pulled my neck just overuse of my neck holding my phone like yesterday. Boruto, yes, me and my family are are okay. Thank you, Michael. Love your accent. Are you, you're the what? You're from England, right, Michael? I feel like I don't have an accent, and you do. That's how I feel. Oh my God, Peter, Peter, trying to land a taco this week. National Taco Day Tuesday will not be the same in Florida this year. Guess what I had yesterday? Taco Bell. Was it yesterday? Yeah, there's still, like this morning I went to three different places. They were all cash only because they didn't have internet either. So, but then I found another restaurant. I had pancakes and they accept a credit card because I just don't have any cash. There's so much I would do next time for the next hurricane, I guess. Which would be, um, you got to get cash, you got to get gas. The lines for gas are insane and many gas stations are still closed. Flavor Genuine, hi, how are you? Thanks for being here, hanging with me. Um, how's it progressing in Florida? Yeah, there's just a lot of um, power still down, uh, internet still down, fences all fell apart, some roof damage, a lot of debris and trees down, like a tree fell on my neighbor's roof, but it looks like they were able to take it off and it didn't actually damage their house. Um, a lot of businesses still closed because they probably don't have internet or power. It's so unfair, you know, like some gas stations are just killing it or businesses that are open and have power and Wi-Fi, they're just killing it because that's where people go to eat. But it's just not fair to the businesses that don't have power or internet right now because they're forced to be closed. We the people, I'd suggest in the future, add a generator to your home in case you don't have power again. Yeah, I guess so. Something must have happened. I think like something major happened because I saw the trucks near my house last night and this morning. So some things, you know, the, the power, they can repair it. But some, wait, repair? But some they have to rebuild. Like if a pole came down and it... So I think maybe it's a little more involved than just like fixing a wire because the power is still not on. But yeah, I was looking into generators. The only problem is I don't want a gas generator because the gas station lines are incredibly long. So how, I don't know, is, is the gas generator the only option? Like, if there's an electric generator, it would probably not stay on for too long, right? Because the power's been out for, like, I don't know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so five days already, so I don't know. Elm Hamdi, thank you, sweetie. Sukdev, yes, I do have TikTok. Um, I have a few TikTok accounts. I've lived in Florida for a couple years now. Oh man, yeah, Naples, yep, got it hard too. Jose, thank you, sweetie. Good to have a bunch of cash. Hi, Anne, yeah, it would be very good to have cash right now because if, you know, the POS system, point of sale system isn't working with Wi-Fi at these businesses at the moment, you know, and you're hungry and all, like, you need cash to buy food and maybe gas or maybe services, you know. Um, so, yeah, I don't have any cash. <laughs> but I'm fine. 
Oh, a natural gas generator. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna look into that, we the people. I kinda do want a generator. A natural gas generator, yeah. Hey, Tommy, how are you? <gasps> Ray, thanks for sending me that down that gateway experience. LOL, I watched your latest vlog and looked into it after watching. Yes, was it interesting to you? I, the, whatever I linked in the description of that video, I watched, I think only the first two in that, in that girl's series about this gateway experience, which is like some declassified CIA experiment. But then it kind of got over my head or I kind of stopped paying attention and was like way lost. But it has to do with like, I don't even remember at this point. I've been through so much since then. But like opening your mind to get to the next, it sounds like Scientology. <laughs> no, it's just like the power of thought and how you could like expand your mind and kind of, oh, what was it? Wasn't it about like astral projection kind of? You know, yeah, and I was joking on Twitter how, like, I'm too lazy to actually travel, so I just stay home and astral project, which I think is actually a really good idea because it does save a lot of, it does save a lot of time and money. I have to admit that. Oh, my chat got stuck. I'm sorry. Ray, okay, I'm glad you're on the same page with, like, not understanding that. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was a lot, yeah, but I guess it was interesting. Props to uh, that YouTube channel who was trying to uh, say in layman's terms this weird CIA experiment. And was it scary with this hurricane? Yes, I was terrified. I really was. First, I was like, oh my God, I don't want to deal with this. <clears throat> and then I was, and yeah, and then it did scare me at certain times. I definitely thought, we all thought, anybody that was with me in the shelter, that our homes were going to be like absolutely destroyed. And I was also nervous about flooding inside of the school, but the school had two floors, so I guess I figured if it started flooding, we can go up to the second floor. It was so nice being in the shelter, too, though, because it was built that built to withstand a hurricane, and it was very quiet inside. I heard anybody else that stayed in their home, even if they had hurricane shutters, I heard it sounded like a freight train was coming through. Imagine being in your home and hearing the wind and things breaking around you and then your windows just rattling like <laughs> Like I'm so glad, grateful I was I felt safe in the shelter It was an experience like we'll never forget it. We meaning everybody that was in there with me It was you'll see the vlog like everybody walking around with flashlights and um, Yeah, no, it was in an elementary school it was just in an elementary school, but I guess it was, you had hurricane windows and it was um, a certain kind of building. I don't know, cement or something. Yeah, the shelter was just an elementary school that was built. It was built to be a shelter in these scenarios. Even though like, say, look at Fort Myers Beach, which was completely blown away and destroyed and underwater. Yeah, a lot of those structures were built to withstand hurricanes as well, but it really just doesn't hold up, especially against water. If there's going to be flooding, there's the damage will be done. Peter, no, I didn't. Well, I left Barry and Prancer, my two stuffed animals at home to hold down the fort, and Claws, Toothpick, baby and princess stayed in a bag at the hurricane shelter with me. Thomas said my family at Sunshine State enjoyed a hurricane party last Wednesday. Yes. Yeah, people in Florida are crazy. Usually they just buy beer and have a party. <laughs> just popped in to support. Got to get back to my live stream. Be safe. Glad you're okay and take care. Hugs. We the people. Thank you. See you soon, I hope. Enjoy your day. Ray, yeah. You know what? It made me meet more of my community. I'm a very uh, much a loner, a very isolated person. And it forced me to be around other people in, in the community. And I just thought they were the sweetest people 
like the people in our room and the, there was only seven people in the room in total so not a lot of people came to the shelter at all I think 85% of people stayed in their homes and we were supposed to go to a hotel but the storm had already started and the hotel we couldn't get through to so I was really glad that we stayed in the shelter because I didn't want to go to the hotel because that made me feel more scared all my stuffed animals are okay Peter said my brother left Sanibel Island last Sunday that's smart that's smart actually there's somebody um on one of my websites that lives down there that I have not heard from since the hurricane I asked him if he was okay and I have not heard back he said he lived on at one of those islands down there so I hope he's okay service is bad power still down there's probably a lot of people still stuck places that just can't even get help so i don't know and there's a lot of tragedy going on in the world right now i know it does seem like things keep happening one after the other it's just a really scary place it does seem that way but <sighs> I think people, I don't know, I'm sorry that it feels that way, but it's nice to be able to come onto these live streams and talk to, um, to you guys. It makes it seem like the world is pretty okay when I'm here, you know? Thank you, Ray. Yes. Thank you, Soup Dev. Living in Rotunda West, they caught the eye of the storm. It did a number on their roof, though. Pretty stringent building codes over there. Oh, good. Yeah, this, this was not a storm that had come by in a while. I think they said like 80 to 100 years or something. So hopefully it'll be another 100 years. I'll be long dead by then for the next storm. Europe's going to be cold this winter. Oh, really? Why? They're projecting like an unusually cold winter? Wow. Thank you, Jer. Yeah, I'm glad I came on too. I definitely wanted to give you guys an update especially because I was hoping to like get back in the swing of things and posting vlogs um, but and, and I, I don't know I'll do vlogs and live streams and yes you are a ray of light Natalie oh thank you sweetie so are you ah, I might go to Starbucks after this it was open yesterday it's open yeah they just didn't have ice yesterday, but probably today they do. And then, yeah, I went to the grocery store and they were throwing away all their food from the free fridge in the freezer yesterday because it all went bad. A um, lot of ambulances going around. Taco Bell was closed, but yesterday I found one open. A lot of traffic lights out, so driving around can, was a little dangerous. I haven't, I think today... I haven't seen any traffic lights out today. They've been restored. It's been crazy, but yeah, I'm. I, I really wasn't in. I wasn't in the area of the worst of it, so thank God. No, I don't have it. Hey, Maze. No, I don't have electricity or internet at home, so I'm in my car. Yesterday, yeah, I Xfinity, Comcast Xfinity supposedly said that they were setting up like Wi-Fi hotspots so you can connect to the internet, and they show you a map where they're everywhere but they don't work at all they don't i just keep kept like parking and reparking my car to try to find these wi-fi hotspots it never worked yeah i'm so sorry about this morning on my other channel i meant to post that i wasn't going to put up a video before 10 a.m but then before i knew it it was 10 after 10 a.m and i was like oh shoot if you don't have a generator when the power is out, a power inverter is a good plan B. Oh, I don't even know what that is. Maybe I'll have to look into that. I think I might get a generator. But yeah, somebody said a Generac natural gas generator. Maybe I'll look into that. Because I don't want to be out there in the gas lines. I don't want to get like gas. And I don't know what an inverter is. 
Um, I don't know what my TikTok name is. I have like 10 TikToks and most of them are not under my name because every time it's under my name, I get banned. But I think I do have a main TikTok account. It's severely shadow banned. I post on it sometimes and it's just under Natalie Nightwolf. Just search Natalie Nightwolf. Um, then I I just have many that are just user 946110, you know, just random names on my TikTok. But yeah, you can just follow at Natalie Nightwolf on TikTok, I guess. But you'll probably have to navigate to my profile to see my videos because TikTok doesn't like me. And like I said, I'm like shadow banned, which means when I post videos, people following me won't see it. Ryan, loved your video on your main channel last week. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you did. I do think I'm going to be doing some costume videos maybe for next week. Power inverter turns 12 volts to 120 volts. Comes standard in a lot of newer cars. What do you mean? You can use your car to power your home somehow? Oh. Inverters need car batteries, not a good choice. Oh yeah, I looked at Home Depot for the um, generator. I'm not gonna have it this time around. But like the pictures of the generators were showing like could power your campsite. And I'm like, I'm looking for like a house generator. Oh good, Sukta, have you found my TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have much luck with TikTok, it's just tough <gasps> my nails yeah I, but I got red nails because I thought everybody would like it and I haven't gotten a chance to really mo um yeah I don't think I've created any many photos and videos with them yet I do live in a house right now I know I have so many new so much up to update you guys on but I kind of wanted it to unfold in the vlogs but all the vlogs are like two or three months old at this point because I haven't edited them and I think I want to share with you my hurricane experience vlog like being at the shelter and stuff but that but then I would have to go back in time after that to catch up on my other vlogs does that matter Peter, thank you so much for the super chat. Hercules, Hercules. Ray, you're too hot for TikTok. That's why they're banning you. Well, that must be why. I don't know. I don't even know. I'm literally doing nothing. I'm modeling clothes. I'm like walking back and forth. I don't, I really don't understand. Because there's other girls. But hey, I got banned on Instagram too. It just doesn't make sense. It's like my name is tarnished and they don't like... I don't know, whatever. It exhausts me to even talk about. I don't know why I keep getting banned. I really don't think I'm like that bad. It's weird. 5,500 watt or higher for a gas generator or Generac home natural gas will power the entire home. But for how many days do you think? Your Toyota Tacoma? But doesn't your battery die on your car? Yeah, all, I'm going to have to throw away all the food in the fridge, too. Doesn't that suck? And how could you be banned for that? I really don't know, like, why. I think, actually, yeah, if you have an OF, um, I shouldn't really talk about it on here, either. Yeah, I really can't speak freely on social media, honestly. I have to really be careful of what I say everywhere. It's, uh, it's difficult. It's difficult. City natural gas. Oh. Oh, I don't have that. I have an electric stove. There's no gas bill. So I don't, so does that matter? Yeah, I guess I can't use it then. So is my only option like gas gas? Cuz if it was an electric generator, I would imagine I would have plugged it in, charged it up, but then at some point over the course of a few days, it would die. Oh boy, try to keep a full tank of gas when the crap hits the fan. I think I have like central air, central heat, because it's in Florida. Like in Connecticut, they have natural gas, but in Florida, they don't. Does that make sense? It's heat by electric, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Electric 
I guess, and electric stove. Yeah, I don't know, I've been in my car. I've got like half a tank of gas, but I'm hoping like in a couple days if I need gas, the lines aren't gonna be as long. Couldn't even, couldn't even drive by Costco because the line was all, all the way into the street. Anyway, that's, that's the update. I don't know. Just wanted to share with you a little bit about what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't know. What else do you guys want to talk about? Anything? What are you up to? I should go for like a walk or something. But I, but I probably won't. Probably go eat the rest of my pancakes. Jenny's eat one gallon per hour while car truck engines consume two to four gallons per hour idling. Generators eat one gallon per hour and cars consume two to four gallons per idle. Oh. Hmm. Um, yeah, I prefer not to say what kind of car I drive. Michael, thank you. I'm so glad you enjoy my live streams. It's fun to chit chat with you guys. I don't really talk to anybody. Thank you, Sook Dev. You're so sweet. I hope you feel better soon. I think you said you weren't feeling so good. Well, let's see. Oh, I'm charging this. Luckily, I have this too. This is for your phone. Charges up your phone. It's a battery backup. Action is a good time to practice my juggling. I'm going to get back into juggling again soon. Balls and clubs. Maybe I'll do some juggling on TikTok because maybe they won't ban me if I'm wearing cool outfits and juggling. Neri, hi from Mexico City. <gasps> hi, hola, como estas? Hi, how are you? Ray, I'm from Southeast Louisiana. I don't miss hurricane season, LOL. Cleaning the refrigerator blows. Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Ooh, EcoFlow. Oh good, I'm gonna save this chat and look at this generator stuff later. Thank you, Mazes. EcoFlow Delta 2 portable solar. Oh, solar panel. Oh my God, that would work really good here. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. I could put that solar panel if it's portable solar. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Next time I need that. Something like that. I think that's a good investment. You know what I mean? That could probably even be a business write-off. Like I can't do my business right now. You know, this is, this is crazy. And in Connecticut, yeah, we had storms and hurricanes. I don't know. I don't know about hurricanes, actually. Actually, once I was in Cancun, Mexico, when a hurricane came about and we were at, me and my dad and my brother, we were at a um, water park. And we had to hide, like, in, under the food stand with strangers um, because stuff was blowing around. So, or maybe it was a tropical storm. I don't know. Yeah, probably tropical storm. Um... What was I talking about? I don't remember. Vaso, hello from Georgia. Wow, very cool. Uh, I can't scroll up. I missed a little bit, but that's okay. Sorry about that. Much love to you from, Gu from Gulfport, Mississippi. Very cool. Electric batteries just charge before the storm. Yeah, I guess you can get like... So you can get like a generator with, and it comes with a couple batteries and you could probably buy more. Is that right? I guess. I reckon so. You want to see what else I have in my car just for fun? Oh, what's my favorite chocolate? Yeah, I like talking about food. Um, I like milk duds with, you know, the chocolate with the caramel inside. Uh, I like chocolate covered coconut. Ray, yeah, Natalie, you have fans from all over the world. I know, it seems like that. Isn't this exciting? How cool is it? 
Flavor Genuine. I'm good. I'm okay. Uh, while at the Palm Beach and Treasure Coast area in Florida, got minimal damage. Oh, thank God. I'm happy to hear that. Good, good, good. How crazy, huh? Like, what? Eric! Oh my God. Hi, how are you? It's good to see you. Hey, did you guys see that truck that was, um, it fell over on its side onto the fence? I posted it on my TikTok at Natalie Nightwolf. And my, my Instagram, it's, it's on my Instagram, I think. Yeah, it's on my Instagram Reels. Check out that semi on its side that we saw right after the storm. That was crazy. Well, I'll show you everything that's in my car just for fun, okay? Artist formerly known as Just Ray Carson. I'm good. How are you? I survived the hurricane just fine. Okay, this is something I'm going to return full face snorkel mask because I bought it from Amazon and they sent me like it's like used it has all like nasty stuff in it it's used but anyway but I do like it I already ordered a new one and it's like for snorkeling I don't know I want to see what's under the water when I go swimming in the in the ocean I have, I have an eating, tra I have a tray, a dirty eating tray for when I go get fast food, scarf it down on this. You know what I'm saying? I ate Taco Bell on that yesterday. I have a jacket that's fuzzy from Costco because it's still cold here when you go like out to eat and stuff. Robert! Hi, Natalie. It's so good to see you live. Looking good, kiddo. Ah, look, you're looking good, too. It's good to see you, Robert. Thanks for hanging with me. My stepmother in Rotunda West compared Ian to an eight-hour tor tornado. Yeah, that was the other thing. This tornado was moving like 10 miles an hour. I mean, this hurricane was was moving 10 miles an hour. So it was like two hours of peop of terror. Um, Eric, Natalie, I have sad news. Your favorite ship, the Kaysen J. Callaway ship, is going to get scrapped. No way. Why? I thought they would last for, like, years. You know, those pl there's planes from, like, the 70s and 80s that they don't scrap. They just... What's the lifespan of a ship? This... I haven't been able to open this. This is actually, like, a pop-up beach tent. And it like rusted shut. Maybe I can open it right now. Look how it's all like corroded on the zipper. How's the quality? Looks good on my end. I need to get this open. My favorite music is Broadway show tunes. Like Sunset Boulevard soundtrack. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. Oh, it's opening. Ew. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Yay! Okay, I have this for the beach next time. I actually like to stay in the shade. I have this. It's, I have a Lazy Susan. <laughs> this is for burritos and stuff when I'm eating in my car. I can bite different things. Spin it, bite, spin it, bite, spin it, bite, spin it, bite. Get it? I have juggling clubs. I have wet ones. I have a lint roller. I have a lint roller. Let me see what I missed. Where's the chat? Where is the chat? Um, do I like body armor sports drinks? I've never tried it. I like the C4s that taste like Starburst or Skittles. 
They sell them at Costco. Those are good. I like sugar-free Red Bull. I like Gatorade. I like Powerade Zero. Blue. Peter said, I miss your calm motion pics and stories posts. Yes, I know. I'm so, like, bad at that. Bad at sharing the beautiful things I see. Yes, I love the tray in the car. It's so helpful because I'm such a slob. And, like, especially I love Taco Bell and all that stuff. Like the cheese, shredded cheese gets all over the place. Artist formerly known as Just Ray Carson. Tried that Dunkaroo cereal last year that wasn't too bad of cereal. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Oh, the Bayview Bridge opened on your birthday, Eric. That's awesome. Yeah, Jerry I did check out that video. Ray, I love, I used to love singing and I was better than I am now because I haven't practiced singing, but people used to compliment me on it, but I don't actually think I was good, only sometimes, with some songs. Right, Peter, it was a five hour duration of the eye of the hurricane. Yeah, that's why it was scary at the shelter too, because it was like, it would be calm again, and then we would take it that we were in the eye, so then we had to kind of come out the other side, you know? Put a little lubricating oil on the zipper. Oh, that would have been helpful. I kind of just tried it a couple times and now I did it. Wendy's Frosty Cereal. Oh my God, no. You love the random stuff I have in my car? I'm not, I'm not done showing you what's in my car. At least he's Susan for the car. <laughs> my car is well equip equipped, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jer. Thank you, Eric. Quarter pounders. Um, I don't eat meat. I eat like vegetarian meat. So... Um, I like the, um, Impossible Whopper from Burger King. Sorry, my neck hurts. I tweaked my neck. Like this side. From using my phone too much, I swear to God. Well, anyway, let's see. What else do I have in my car? I have, this is from when I volunteered at the animal shelter, which I should do again. Maybe a different one. When we walk to the dogs, you'd wear this safety thing. And then this is a belt for the dogs. It has, this is really good if you have a dog. I got this on Amazon. You snap this around your waist and you could load it with um, bags for dog poop. You could even put something in the side here. And then in, and then there's another pouch in the front. And then there's another thing here. And in here you put dog treats. Which I should probably throw these away or something because they're kind of old. But yeah. And then it cinches. Oh my god. I forgot to tell you about Rusty. And also at the shelter you, you, were, you were allowed to or you're supposed to bring your pets if you had any cats or dogs or even birds. And there was a dog room at the shelter and a cat room at the shelter. And one of the the roommates people in the same room as me one couple they had a dog named rusty and the kind of dog was a it was like a cava it wasn't a cavapoo it was like a cava king charles cavalier and a well anyway this dog was named rusty and he was so freaking cute I don't make any money on YouTube. Yeah, my main channel's demonetized, so I don't make any money on YouTube unless you become a channel member on my main channel. But um, this channel did just get monetized for ads, ad revenue, but maybe $4 a video or something. Yes, try the Beyond Meat. I think it's very good. Yeah, I, um, so mazes, I, I make all my money on the other, on the other one. Dogs? No. There's a few dog beaches, but mostly no. Price, are you serious? I'm so sorry to hear that. What area was he in? Really? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. juggling clubs grocery bag Alabama oh 
like in the past that's so sad I'm so sorry sweetie St. Charles hi chat keeps disappearing on me folks I'm sorry Kelly hi hi from Ke Kelly in Regina Saskatchewan I have friends in Florida who said they wish they were back home one lost everything in Orlando oh I'm so sorry to hear that I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, I cannot believe how widespread this hurricane was. And I'm so sorry. There was major flooding, I think, in Orlando. And I'm not sure what else. Like I said, I have, like, spotty service. So I still haven't been, I feel like, up to um, speed on how everybody fared. Um, how is, like, Disney World and stuff? Is that okay? And that's devastating. And I'm so sorry, Kelly. I actually am familiar with Regina because uh, the company I used to work for had some stores there. It was so funny because isn't that how you say it, Kelly? Regina. So everybody wanted to say Regina because we know how it sounds, the word Regina. But working in a corporate office and having people say the word Regina, Regina, Regina was really funny. My favorite color? Um, I don't know, maybe pink. St. Charles, thank you. Tater tots or onion rings? Bar Barbarella, hey sweetie, how are you? I prefer like McDonald's fries, really thin fries. What's Friday? Friday. Okay, this is where most stuff is. Anyway, I guess that's all that's interesting. A tripod, another tripod, another tripod, bug spray, an umbrella, a, and another umbrella, and a beach blanket. And an empty, an empty, uh, what's this called? Box, box. Also, well, maybe another time I'll go through my golf compartment. Wet wipes, pink straws, utensils, chopsticks, uh, this stuff, and sunscreen. Ah, oh, that's so cool, Eric, that you're still filming all the drawbridges. Three days until Yom Kippur. Awesome. What do you do for Yom Kippur? Like, feast? Oh, wow. Yeah, hurricanes in Texas, too. Thomas Bell, I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, so those are... What are your favorite French fries? I don't know. McDonald's. Hi, Anderson. How are you? Ever have a Freudian slip with the Regina word? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I actually like to say the word because it made people feel uncomfortable. Some people, yeah, like I said, couldn't even say it. They just pretended that the town was Regina, which it's not. Anyway, I guess I have to put all that junk back now. Um, yeah. Rally's fries. They sell them at stores. Oh, I've never seen those before. Um, yeah, I like McDonald's. Really skinny, salty fries are my favorite. Natalie, he opened the Taco Street. I'm not sure which bridge is my favorite. <laughs> Kelly, people ask where we're from. Say Regina and you get that funny look. Where? Yeah, isn't that's funny though. Like that's kind of fun. That's kind of fun that you it's like it's like it feels like you get to say you're saying a bad word, but like it's legitimate. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about Serbia. Personally. 
Yes, fresh McDonald's fries. True. Once they're like cold, not so good. Moose jaw. There was another interesting. Moose jaw is funny too. Um, I don't like steak fries. They're too thick. Can you pronounce the city? Yeah, when you said that earlier, I, I didn't think I could pronounce it. I feel like that it's not a hard C, Michael. Is that right? Maybe. There, there's a town in Massachusetts. It's, spe it, it's called Worcester, but it's spelled Warchester. W-O-R-C-H-E-S-T-E-R. So, let me see. Is it Leicester? That's how I'll guess, Michael. Let me know. Spell it out for me. Hey, I heard McDonald's is going to be selling adult kids meals. Barbarella, you should get a pet. I know. I really want I really want a pet. Seeing that dog Rusty, how cute he was in the shelter. Like I do I, I'm getting close to like wanting a pet for sure. I love, 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 love animals so much. I would just be so, so, so much more ha happy if I had a dog. Yeah, there's going to be adult Happy Meals. Lester? Oh, Lester. What did I say? I forget. Leaster or something? <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. Ooh, a Halloween bucket. What's what's supposed to, supposed to be in there? Worcester, Mass. Been there to deliver beef. I've been there for um. I forget what it's called, but there's like a music venue there. Parrots make good pets. Oh, I think those are a little too loud for me. I think a dog, like a kind of smallish dog that I could take around with me and take for walks and stuff. Cocker spaniel. Yeah, I can't remember. It was a mix of two kinds of dogs. It was called a, like a, not a cavapoo, but a, it was like a king, something, king, king Charles Spaniel and a, I have it written down somewhere, but anyway, it was just the cutest thing with like one of the, ta like a bushy tail, like a squirrel type of thing. I love animals so much. Double stack trains are very cool, actually. Um, yeah, I've been on here for about 53 minutes now. Prices are climbing here too. Gas prices, 175 a liter, 4 liters to a gallon. But U.S. tourists will now head north to Canada again with Canadian mandates all gone. Uh, yeah. Yorkies are cute or Maltese. Yeah. I actually think I'm kind of allergic to dogs. So, the dog that I had before was a Bichon. I'm not going to be doing any shout outs because I'm not sure the names of the people that you're asking me to say I'm pretty sure there's somebody that I wouldn't want to shout out I feel like I'm being set up with that so I'm not going to give any shout outs I didn't care for Popeye's chicken sandwich make a video milking a cow can you believe I've never milked a cow that's actually something I do want to do I love my cows. I'm going to visit my cows tomorrow. They're, they're just these cows in the area. And they're so cute and I love them so much. Yeah. I would love to go on a, um, a train ride. You know how they have those like cross country train rides or just like, it's so cool to see different places that you like would never get to see. They look so cool. Yorkies are hypoallergenic, really? Yeah, I know like a Bichon is hypoallergenic. I didn't know Yorkies were. Yes, I think I would need something like that. Yeah, so maybe Yorkies is something I could also do. Elaine, hello. I grew up near Cleveland, Northeast Ohio, was settled by New Englanders, so a lot of places named after those in Massachusetts, etc. Oh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Shout out everybody in the chat. Oh my God. Thank you, Ray. 
oh yeah we started visiting these cows and there was three of them and then suddenly they had babies and there was a baby and then last we went to visit them the day after the hurricane which you see in my vlog the other baby was there too it's hard to explain hard to explain but surprisingly one of the cows was pregnant and we didn't even know it and then one day we went to go visit and there was a baby there and then one another day we went to go visit we met the farmer that takes care of them and he said oh well did you actually know that they had twins and the other baby is back at my house because we're bottle feeding her because she was kind of blind and bow-legged so we're like oh no but then after the hurricane the day after we went to go see if the cows were okay because we were worried about them and guess who was there not only one baby that was there the whole time but the second baby the other twin that the farmer was taking care of was back in the field so now both babies are there like such blessings the cows love us so much barely woke hey i'm still here surprise can't get rid of me <laughs> michael shaw thank you so much for the super chat any information we get electricity back oh my god no not really they said by the ninth <laughs> what what mini schnauzers oh they don't shed but they're hyperactive oh my goodness they must be so cute i think they're very cute i think it would be good for me too i was actually thinking of another reason why a doggy would be so good for me because first of all be my best friend second of all i would have to go for at least two walks a day you know so that would be good for me to take a take a walk Take a long walk off a short pier. Ooh, I haven't heard that song, Peter. I'll have to check that out. Our Yorkie shorts get more views than my five plus hour live streams. Hey, yeah, there's hey, there's another reason. It'll be great for views. Put that dog in every thumbnail. I like watching um, dog and cat and cow videos. That's like all I watch, you know. I'm gonna be obsessed with my dog. When I get a dog, I'm going to be so annoying and obsessed. It's going to be terrible. I did not run away from Florida. Barely. I spent three days in a hurricane shelter. And now I'm still in Florida. And I have no power. And no internet at home. And crappy service. But this quality looks good, right? I think this looks good. I found a good spot. I've just been like parking and reparking my car to find like a spot where I can actually uh upload some stuff and live stream and stuff where they sell ostrich eggs i never had that i think animals make your life like a hundred percent better you know like i'm gonna be so much happier so much happier with the dog i'm natalie Vape Hav, hello, how are you? I'm so glad the quality is good. I'll have to come back to this very spot. Imagine making scrambled eggs. Thank you, Phil. Video looks good. Excellent. Scrambled eggs of ostrich eggs. I don't know. The ostrich eggs like this big, isn't it? You need a bigger pan too, huh? My brother was in Connecticut for the storm. He's going back next week. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, I think next time maybe I'll just take off, you know? There's no real reason. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a dog. I, I don't know when, but I'm definitely going to get a dog at some point. I'm not sure when, but yeah, I, I love animals. I would love a dog, like a sidekick, you know? Like, my dog would be here right now. Right here, right now, there would be a dog probably right here. Like, right here. You imagine that? Imagine this. Me here and a dog right here. This is, this would be better, wouldn't it? That would be better. It would be better. Edison, you got three doggies. I'll take. Yeah, I'll take one. You're 24 now. Oh my goodness, Edison. What do you mean? You've been you've been following me for four years now. That's amazing. I can't see that I'll ever leave the internet. So, and I hope you guys will watch me for 50 years. <laughs> I've been following you for 50 years. I don't know what happened to the rest of the chat, but some of it's missing. 
Uh, only message I see now is Peter. Will you go to dog training classes? Yeah, I think I should. I think I should get my dog really socialized when I get whenever I get a dog I'm gonna make sure that it meets other dogs it meets other people to get socialized and maybe goes to dog training classes and stuff like that because my ginger was not very socialized at all the only dog I've ever had was a female so uh, I might get another female dog, but I might just see, well, I don't know how I'm going to get a dog, you know, like I might just see, find a dog that I love at the shelter or something. So I'll see what I fall in love with, right? Could be male or female. Oh yeah. Thank you, Eric, for those photos. Vimsen, what are my exercises? Um, honestly, I haven't been exercising much lately. I think at the bare minimum, I'd really just like to go for walks yeah mostly just walks walks Ugh. I'm not even hungry but all I think about is food there's this place that has like vegan orange chicken but it's like or well orange tofu should I try that or is that just eating for, from boredom I know, right? Shelter dogs after the storm. Maybe now is my opportunity then. I should do a, do something good for once. And maybe that would be fostering though. I'm not sure. I'm, I'd assume they'd want their, their dog back. Yeah, sure, Eric. No thank you, Soup Dev. Vibhav. Hello. Yeah, maybe fostering. If somebody really needs it, that would be tough though, wouldn't it? To have to let them go. Like say it was um, kind of just watching somebody's dog until they got their home back rebuilt or something like that. How's your brother's house? Barely woke. Does he know? Like has anybody checked in on it yet? Right. It would be really hard to give them up. I also thought about like fostering or adopting like elderly an elderly dog but that would be so hard too considering it would only have like a year or two or something you know but my dog lived till 16 and a half and she was wearing diapers and so i i do know what it's like and i don't put dogs down if they're just having trouble using the bathroom or something like people put their dogs down because they like peed in the house like what his was his house flooded too do i go for a daily swim um no but i was going often for swims but now the pool is very dirty because the pool pumps not been on for a while you're working on starting an old dog sanctuary oh my god that's awesome it's strange there was a dog sanctuary around here that i wanted to volunteer at but I emailed three times and they never call, emailed me back. So I don't really know if I want to be involved with that. I don't get it. Yeah, it's it would be vegan food, but still would be fried tofu, I guess. But I can get that and the vegetables instead of that and rice. <gasps> Funny that you say that, Robert because I saw an otter the other day. You'll see that in a future vlog. I saw an otter down here. Wait, wait, wait. Check out ATY on YouTube. Oh my God. Oh my God, really? He's a pet? Robert said in Japan, the short claw river otter is a common pet. Do you want to fall in love? Check out ATY on YouTube. Oh my God, I will. I love otters. I love all animals. I love otters, I love cows, I love alpacas. He owns the whole street. No, I haven't been going to the gym in a while. I did just restart my gym membership. But, yeah. I still haven't gone. I know a girl who just paid $4,000 for her dog surgery on a 15-year-old dog. Aw, she must love her dog very, very, very much. Most people wouldn't do that. So she's a, such a sweetheart. 
That's something I would probably do too. Otters will kill you? Really? Are they, they feral like that? Do I like action movies like that? Um, no. I don't really watch many action movies. I only really watch documentaries. I'm only interested in something if it's like a real story for some reason. Even if it was like a movie based on a true story. I don't really like that as much as a real documentary. So. Yeah, I did see the tweets and news reports of sharks swimming inland due to the storm. I'm sure they did. I think some of them were photoshopped, but I haven't been able to really look too much about that. Bunnies can be litter box trained. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, my aunt has, she res rescues bunnies. I don't know if they're litter box trained or not. I would also love a cat, but I think I'm allergic to that. Cats too, and my dad is like deathly allergic. So he could never come visit me if I ever got a cat. Yes, I've seen alligators, definitely, in ponds. Yep. I think I should end the stream now. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thanks for catching up with me. Yes, I would definitely like to stream again soon. Um, and so I will. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a really great day. Um, and yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. You brightened my day. I've had a lot of fun chit-chatting with you. Bye, Peter. Bye, Sukdev. Bye, Barbarella. Bye, artist formerly known as Just Ray Carson, Bimsy, Barely Woke, Thomas, Michael, Ray. Bye, everybody. Kevin. Bye, Kevin. Hi and bye, Kevin. I didn't see you earlier. All right, see you guys. Great to hear from you too. Bye, Phil, Ryan. I'm just going to give it a few minutes to see if there's anybody else. Bim's in. All right, logging off. Bye.